and you press the C1, you can let go of the sticks and the drone will continue in that direction that you have selected. We are back at Orby, beautiful location for flying my drone. And uh, the sun is about to set, so we don't have that much time to do this video. It seems like every time that I'm out flying, I have a time constraint of some kind. But there's a feature that you will be getting with the DJI Air 3, which is the one that we will be flying today. That is really, really cool that I would like to show you. So you know this situation where you have to do this point of interest. You need to fly around a house like this. And you have these problems that uh, maybe your hands are not that stable. So you, it's a little bit like jitterish and <laughs> you get a little bit impatient. And then everything is really not like it's supposed to be. This is of course something that would get a lot better the more that you practice. You can also do stuff like the, putting it down in the cine mode that will sort of slow down the stick responses. So, flying around the red house here. So that alone is a little bit better. But there's a feature included with the Air 3, which originally was introduced with the Mavic 3, that's called Cruise Control. So you click the three dots in the upper right corner here, and then you select the Control tab, and then you are scrolling down to the section that's called Bottom Customization. Here you can select either to define the C1 or C2 on the back of the remote to do something else. And for this sake, let's use the C1. And then if I pull up the menu here, you will be able to see different options. And one of them is cruise control. And what is that? That is exactly what you think it would be. It is if you start a motion with the drone and you press the C1, you can let go of the sticks and the drone will continue in that direction that you have selected. In that way, you eliminate sort of the uncertainties of your hand movements and touching the sticks. And you can simply just stop it by pressing the C1 again, or whatever button that you have decided should do this operation. So let's say that I want to capture this beautiful landscape. Then again, I've just flying to the side here, press the C1, see, cruise control enabled, and it will continue in the same velocity as I just, yeah, as I just had when I pressed the C1. You can also see the small lock in the lower uh, left corner that indicates that it's locked. One of the really cool things is that this does not only work with a single motion. If I do like, let's say that I want to do like a manual point of interest around the end down here. So I'm just starting the motion like this and then I'm pressing C1. So if I'm doing two different motions at the same time, it will continue to do those. So now you can see that it's actually flying to the side while it's yawing towards the end. Maybe we can get it to do three motions. Let's just try that for the sake of this experiment. So, so now I'm flying in this direction. I'm yawing and I'm increasing the altitude. So, well, maybe it's yawing a little bit, but at least it's increasing the altitude. <laughs> and you can see now there's two locks at the bottom. So it's basically increasing the altitude while it is flying towards the side and it is yawing a little bit here. So this is a pretty cool feature and it's very, very handy. It actually eliminates a lot of uh, the need for the automated flight modes. Let's just see if it works with the gimbal as well. <clears throat> so we are... We are rising here and we are turning the gimbal very slowly. There it is. <laughs> You're probably going to play around with this a little bit to get it sort of to figure out how it and all the, the details in this feature. But that's definitely a possibility as well. 
But it's clearly that the, the most interesting, uh, yeah, use case of this is uh, I'm doing this point of interest all the time, and it's a big, big help that I can just circle around the building like this, and then I can enable the cruise control. So you see, that was an example where it didn't work. So now it's working. <laughs> well, once it works, it works pretty well. <laughs> So this is the cruise control. This is something that I wish DJI would implement on the mini series of drones. It's a very, very useful feature, but it is tucked a little bit away and nobody's really talking about it. So you have to dig into the menus in the custom button, custom button optimization menu to get access to it. And uh, unless you're told it's there, it's not something that you would come across naturally. So that's the cruise control. What do you think about the Air 3 after it has been out for a while? Is it the drone that you want to buy or not? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.